Hey guys, Ryu here with not a bit for Blender and this one I'm gonna show you how to render this helmet. It's actually a helmet we're gonna be dropping with one of the uh, one of the things we're gonna be dropping on our Patreon on June. It's gonna be a part of an add-on tutorial. Full modeling, decal in texturing, editing in Photoshop, all the jazz. So check us out on Patreon got a lot of different perks awesome decal pack is coming next month as well this month we got some sensational stuff too cool um kind of like a robotic arm and a tukey bounce emissive bounce light decal pack all right so we're gonna render this in cycles but we're gonna render this not from this angle but we're gonna render it from a different angle okay so i'll show you how would i go about you know kind of framing this and so on and so forth let's go from the back so now we need to you know kind of position it in a, in a way that's going to be interesting so we need to catch an angle and sort of make sure that all the details that are important are shown so we could go from a lower angle like this which is pretty cool or we could go from a slightly higher angle to show a little bit of a of a top as well i think this one's gonna be pretty cool now the framing is um, really important here uh, maybe something like this and let's uh you know let's unlock this from a view and so let's grab this plane and let's move it somewhere here i gotta see i got a background with uh, with my one of my decals which looks pretty awesome we're going to rotate it like that and we're going to adjust it okay so now the trick of you know with positioning backgrounds is that uh, First of all, I need to cover this circle with my helmet, yeah? Then I need to make sure that it actually makes sense. So my camera is here. This needs to be far away. If it's not far away, okay, the doff will not work properly, okay? It's going to be a bit weak. So the further you go, the better, all right? So let's make this big and put it somewhere here. And then we can... Uh, we can adjust it so let's go to camera and click on doff and we can you know assign it to let's say I don't know uh, this bit here okay should be sharpish if it's not sharp you can always you know adjust it it's not really that sharp so what we can do is do it manually okay best way to do it is switch to look the first sec um, because you got a faster feedback and when it updates one of these months there we go you can you know fine-tune it so it's actually sharp here there we go and then we got a lovely duff going on see if I could grab one of these reflectors so you know grab this plane move it somewhere here so grab the plane move it here RZ rotate it on uh, on Z axis, come on, it's hard to see Z axis, right? Like this. There we go. And maybe let's uh, turn off these um, emissives and make it a little bit wider. And move it somewhere here and see how we're looking. Cool. So let's move it closer and see if this gonna actually do anything. So let's go back to cycles because in look that we cannot see anything. And the closer you get here, the more light you're supposed to be getting. So let's actually rotate it uh, like this. Cool. So now let me show you before and after with this plane. This is, you know, with and that's without. I need to make it either brighter or darker than the background. Otherwise, it's going to kind of, you know, melt, melt together, right? So if it's going to be, you know, equal, more or less the same level of brightness, you, you can't really see shit, right? So you want to go either darker or brighter, okay, on this. So let's see that. Um, this one is pretty good, I think. This one is pretty good. What we could do is a nifty trick here. So we could um, select the plane here. And um, what we could do is introduce a bit of blue. Select this decal, D, and match. Uh, sorry, not match. Uh, reapply. And we could, you know, match this blue to, there we go. So it's slightly blue, maybe that's too blue. So we're going to drop the saturation a bit. So it's kind of blue-ish. All right. Let's just reapply this. And uh, let's rematch this. All right. 
There you go. So there's kind of like a very dark greenish, grayish, bluish something, right? Like a really washed out navy blue. So that really stands out now. It's pretty cool. You got this warm uh, color here now. Probably want to make this a bit brighter, everything. We could uh, manipulate with the background to, you know, see, do something like that. And the background's going to become a bit brighter. We got some overlaps in here, so we need to fix them. So let's make this bigger and move this around a bit. Uh, maybe, maybe make it, you know, this big or something. Maybe that's too big. I want to see a bit of this frame going in here. So maybe that's too huge. Something like that. So there is a separation in here. I could move this a little bit to the right and do something like that. So, you see what I mean? Just move it a bit. There you go, that's kind of cool. Let's try to render this also. I think I might lift a bit the um, lift a bit the uh, the exposure, so we could just lift it a little bit with Photographer, so make it a bit brighter. All right, well let's try to render this now. The settings um, I always have the same settings. I mean most of the time. So I got you know the notes here for the compositor, including Clary, which is basically you know creating a, a bloom for cycles. I got a video on this one, so I have a, have a look at that. And my sample settings are 250. I make sure you're gonna turn off this rubbish, uh, these squared ones. And then uh, my light paths are, you know, at these values. And that's basically it, uh, you know, guys. It's really, you know, nothing fancy here. Um, it's the 1440p, of course, TIFF, because why not? Uh, and that's basically it. Uh, so I'm going to render this, right? Um, the performance is uh, 248 to 48. Someone suggested in one of my videos I should go to 56, but quite frankly, I didn't notice any difference, but you guys might try that as well. Apparently, 256 to 56 is recommended for GPUs, but any GPU really. But these values can work better for me. Um, and I think I'm using optics as well. I can't remember, but I think I do. So if I go to system, yeah, I'm using optics as well. So let's just render this and uh, let's see what we're going to get. Also, I'm not crazy about this reflection. So I'm going to cancel this and go here. I'll need to probably reapply a new decal here. So let's remove this and let's just apply um, a new decal. It's not a problem. And renders, you know, they take time, guys. Okay, so if you want to create a quick render and fuck off playing computer games that you got you got another thing coming and your portfolio will always remain average okay so you always need to tinker with stuff rendering in my opinion is more important than modeling because you can make a cube look awesome and you can also make a really cool model look like shit which is something i have seen happen a lot of times um, so don't be that guy or that girl or that it whatever the fuck it is these days okay so uh, here let's uh, RXX and rotate it and then when I'm going to project it right boom it's gonna be alright so now if I'm gonna render this this reflection should look a little bit better hmm should be pulling so much on the on the horizontal there you go that's much better see that's cleaner okay that's i like i can live with this one so let's go with um with some kind of uh, lighting even this one will do doesn't matter what it is uh, as long as it's a tiny one that actually pulls attention because we need something to anchor okay this can be literally microscopic but it would be very powerful because these lights are really strong so I'm gonna uh, rotate it. I can see I got some geo problem in here, and this is caused by this edge. There you go. Um, let's just move it somewhere here and the adjust it, and there you go. And I think this should do. So I'm gonna project it, and then you will see that this is going to pull nicely. So if I'm gonna render this one now, right? We're gonna get this anchor pulling us up to the front. Yeah, see, there you go. This lighting here, it's not really that strong, um, but you know, it's gonna be enough to 
to pull the attention to the front. We can make it stronger by simply adjusting it, so make it really strong and kind of beamy. And then we're going to render the same thing with the background. So we're going to go here and enable this, all of these in render. So well, let's render it again. It looks a bit different in the preview than in a render, so it should be a bit brighter. This one is really strong. I can already see the contrast is massive, but it kind of corresponds with this. So kind of locks is in a triangle. That's okay. So you're going to be dancing between these and popping here. This is really strong now. Oh, that's much better. Okay, cool. We can, we can combine on this one with the, with the other helmet. So these elements are quite dark, but it's okay because we got dark spots in here and here. So it's okay. They should also quite big, uh, quite deep. Uh, the whole thing is a little bit too bright, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. We're going to wait for the composite to kick in. There we go. And save it as four. Boom. There we go. See now, this is really what I was hoping for. Uh, it's less washed out and it kind of stands out against the background. It's a little bit maybe too dark in the front, but that's not a problem because we can do something like this. And it really creates an interest right so it creates a contrast here and contrast here which is exactly what we want and quite frankly i don't mind this light i'm gonna create a, like a really um, warm sign in here so i'm going to borrow uh, the text from the render from patreon uh, file so i'm just gonna drop it in here and boom i'm gonna move it in here and uh, quite frankly, you know what, we can we can actually drop it on the same height, uh, as in drag it here, hold shift and drop it, boom. So when you flip between them, it's literally the same position, just a bit of a trick. And then let's copy this color. Let's grab this seven, right, and do this, okay. And this will create a... Um, very strong line that you're gonna pull your eyes up uh, you don't need to do anything else this is enough and then let's uh, crop all these logos and move them here and also let's drop this one because it's a pretty good one boom awesome <clears throat> so now we can uh, um, edit this. Oh yeah, I'm going to drop the same color as well. So infinite color, I'm just going to move it in here. And, you know, below the image, PG. Okay, so now we're going to turn this off. Um, duplicate it. Let's go to camera row filter. And let's grab some clarity here. Let's work this thing. Right. That one is fuzzy-ish, so I'm not going to really worry about it too much. Don't sharpen things that are actually fuzzy, because that's a bad idea. Boom. Nice pop. Turn them on, and you're sexy. So now what we can do is um, contrast this, the whole thing. So go to filter, and color effects pro, and let's... I don't really need the grain yet. What I do need is pro contrast. There we go. I need to open up this helmet a little bit. Make sure I'm not affecting too much shadows. Okay, let's drop this. Just gonna darken things a bit down. But then what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to add a um, film grain to it. And it's gonna make things a bit more lively. So let's just disconnect this one and go to film grain. And let's make it a bit more soft and increase the shadows. And how are we looking? Yeah, we're looking pretty peachy. So this is gonna lower the contrast. It's gonna kind of meld everything together, which is great. Boom, awesome. And I like it. And you know, this is my image. So what I could do now is kind of re remove this effect from darker tones, which is gonna introduce a little bit more contrast, right? See what I mean? So this will be my image. 
so that's uh, render number one and render number two all right guys well thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video give us a like and sub if you did if you want to learn how to create this helmet we're gonna have this on patreon on june including other goodies like another tutorial from from josh and also there's gonna be some decal pack there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on and this month we have an, a robotic arm and an amazing decal pack and also a really cool tutorial on industrial renders so thanks for watching catch you in the next one